they were. Oh, audio test. One, two, three. Thank you, Nicholas Michael. We know it works. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I have to we'll thank you multiple times. You told us multiple times. Thank you. Much appreciated. Won't be five minutes just uh, setting everything up. Yeah, well, set, we're setting things up. This is exclusive content because you pre ordered <laughs> the live stream behind the scenes. You also get DLC. two extra loot crates and DLC. <laughs> And the season passed, but we ain't decided what's gonna go in here. Thanks for tuning in. Who do we have in chat? We have Juxto, Nicholas Michael, It's Craft in Time, Merum, Ava Whitlam, and Ganalon. Riot Showdown has already asked him for a free PC. We need even begun to stream yet. How cheap you? We need to get cheap a counter you. on screen of how many people asked for a free computer. Yeah. I think we're up to like six now. And Jezzy's here. Stay out my DMs. Stay out. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's a cool guy. Very good. That's awesome stuff on YouTube. His channel is, I believe it's called OMG is Jezzy. Well, that's his Twitter, one of them. Thank you later. Not in DMs. I do not love you. No, I do not. I have love for many people. But not you. Please, don't tell them that. Juxto says, watching this wants, makes me want to build a new PC. Phantom Pat, who just joined in. What PC is being built today? It will be a mid-range gaming PC with a GeForce GTX 1050 tie. What processor are we using, Jared? This is an i5-7400. i5-7400. Um, 8 gigs of RAM. Yeah, standard configuration. Cooler Master Hyper 103 cooler. Fancy. In a Corsair Carbide Spec 04 tempered glass edition. Yeah, for anyone that ain't seen it yet, the Corsair Carbide Spec 04 now comes in tempered glass. And it looks awesome. It looks much better. Yeah, we like it. It makes it look premium. Is it the black and red? Right? Black and red. Yeah. Black and red. It looks awesome. 
It's meant to be in yellow and black as well. Bumblebee style. He's doing a package spell. Mm. He's doing a package spell. That's mm. a bit everyone loves. Chuck it all out. And... Yeah, let's throw it in after. Well. We're almost ready to start now. Yep, this is the pre five minute show, which you can pre order for free on Twitter by retweeting us. You get the season pass of it. Yeah, we're just being cheeky. You get a loot box. We'll be building for about an hour, an hour or so. And if you have any questions on building a PC, gaming or tech in general, just get out. Of our first question we had on our first stream was about Nintendo Switch. <laughs> I don't really agree with it, but... Yeah, just throw any questions yeah, our way. Yeah, throw any questions. We'll try our best. As I mentioned earlier on Twitter, we'll be giving away a Dino Gaming PC mouse mount on stream if you retweet the secret hashtag that I'll mention on stream. Oh, I like that. I like that. Phantom Pat says, I love those tempered glass cases. When you see it, it looks awesome. The Spec 4 is just where it needed. Tempered glass. If you guys really do love us, aham uh -huh, Jesse, you'll retweet this by the way. You'll retweet this. For those who haven't seen it yet, this is the mouse mat. Hopefully you can see that, it's all shiny and like plastic, but there you go. A massive logo, the big claw, the T-Rex, yeah. Who wouldn't want a free one of those, eh? Good size too. They say size don't matter, but there you go. It's what you do <laughs> for the cancer, right? Yes, yeah, guys with small mouse mats to say that. Yeah. Uh, you know, that, that's cheeky, but good, I'm gonna use that. That's what guys <laughs> with small mouse mats say, yeah. That is funny. Just way get away downstream. You know, I did a tweet just before this stream, right? It was a follow-up to the mention of this, and I said that whoever retweets the hashtag on stream will win the mouse mat. Then I said, like, it was along the lines of, ain't it funny how people will retweet your competitions but never follow you? And you look at their account, it's nothing but retweets of other competitions, <laughs> and certain people actually confess to it. That, that was actually, oh, you that, 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 was, that was cheeky. <laughs> Gemma Quinn says, Lol, I confirm my husband uses Twitter to look at, but he's a man of few words. He just tweets competitions. <laughs> Lol, life of a PC gamer. Uh, Irish Bob him. Irish Bob said, Lol, I don't think I've tweeted much else but competitions on my Twitter. <laughs> These people are honest but cruel. Honest and cruel. Can't fault them. You're admitting to it. How many are we up to now? 14? Good enough. Right, for any new guys in the stream, today we're building a mid-range computer. It's around the £700 mark. I think it is the Primal G57 Intel gaming PC from our website. That includes a i5-7400 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, a NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti, and standard rest of stuff, 500 watt power supply, a H110M-R motherboard, a Cooler Master Hyper 103 air cooler, and a little Wi-Fi card. For those who are curious on the spec and pricing of that PC, I will leave a link in the chat now. Someone would say it don't work, I'm going to say you're using Edge or Internet Browser, so go to Google <laughs> Chrome or Safari, please. <laughs> Right, we start off like always, put all the stuff on the motherboard you can before you put it in the case. So That's right, Wednesday Wisdom. So in this, uh, this case it's the processor, the memory and the cooler we can chuck on you. If you've got something like an NVMe M.2 drive, chuck that on as well. Jess 
obviously I do not approve of, it, of your hashtag and that would not be the secret hashtag for the mouse mic giveaway. Please do not use that. No one use it. Ignore Jersey. JT says hi. Hi JT. Hi JT. How you doing? <coughs> Omar SK says that link is 404. Nope, <laughs> it's just your browser. It's just your browser. But I'll resend it again. It's a Windows 10 thing, right? It's always a Windows 10 thing. H110. It's a H110 motherboard. So no, uh, no overclocking or anything like that, but... Makes sense. The processor is locked. Yep. You don't need uh, any fancy motherboard. An OK on that. Just the i5-7400. Core i5. Still a great processor nonetheless. Oh yeah. All you need for gaming. These people are still responding to my past tweet. I said, when someone retweets their competition, so you check their Twitter account and you see nothing but retweets and you're not sure if they're about the PC Mastery's life. Dave, yes, we see you at Dave on Twitter. He says, well, when you game on a Mac, you try everything to get a game into PC. He's honest. He's honest. I can't fault him for that. Yeah. I've tried so a couple you, you times. You can game on a Mac, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've played a few games on a Mac. It's, yeah. The ones that yeah. I mean, I own a Mac, but I won't play games on it. So I do understand from one end, but you can game on it. Yeah, if it's you all know, you've got, and cloud you want streaming game. as well. Oh, Nvidia yeah. Nvidia supports it with their GeForce Now. Yeah, they support everything. It's in home streaming or first Steam as well. Yeah. See, you have plenty of options on your Mac. Believe it's it or just not. Use it as a really expensive monitor. <laughs> I've often been hypocritical with Windows in the past. I always said if Mac was great for PC gaming, like I could change the hardware and everything, I would never use Windows, ever. You prefer the software on Mac, do you? I prefer that Mac works when I turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I appreciate it. It's like, I tweeted the other day that how Hotmail, if you're using it on Google Chrome, it has little suggestions down the bottom of him <laughs> saying, would you like to switch to Edge? It's lightning fast, try it out now for free. And it's like, stop being a dead horse. No. Let it die. Chrome works, Chrome, we like not, Chrome. Yeah, they're not gonna change back. You've yeah. lost them. Now they really should let this Edge browser go, you know, we're the dodo, being a dead horse. Just host said, when did thermal paste go RGB? <laughs> we haven't uh, not quite hit that yet, but I'm sure we'll get there eventually. Yeah. One day someone will have like, you know you get those toothpaste for kids, where it's in like three <laughs> different colours yeah. as it comes out of the bowl? Yeah, it's like, stripe, like a yeah. stripey white and blue. That'll be thermal oh, paste now. We've RGB. called it. We've called it already. Yeah. We've claimed it. We'll patent that. It'll be called TGB. <laughs> Benjamin Ben in our YouTube chat says, I'm Dave by the way. So that's you from Twitter. Hey, Twitter Dave. Small world there. Jeff Arino says, it would be appreciated if you would send this one to me. I did leave you the link in the chat. It's uh, eight now. Benjamin Ben wants to know if anyone else played games on a Mac. We kind of answered that already. Oh, uh, Lucas, our master expert water cooling builder in the background, he says, I do. <laughs> he games on a Mac too. Mm. See, you are not alone in this world. Oh, oh, he said football manager. So if you're expecting <laughs> PUBG or Crisis 3 or something, yeah. Uh, he said football manager. That high spec demanding game right there. Very demanding game. Very, very, need a 1080 for that. Yeah. 
SLI, everything. I think the new uh, iMac Pro's got a Vega 56 in it. Though, yeah, the so. new iMac Pro's, they're amazing if you're a content creator. Mm. They're really powerful. I uh, saw the line. I saw the uh, the Linus video on it the other day. Probably a few people in chat saw it as well. Oh, yeah. Actually, the look the that master bad. Race. The master race. They love Linus. I know so. <laughs> They love him. Right. It's about time we got a case in here. Yeah. Jared is going to get the amazing Speco 4 tempered glass chassis. That case is really nice. Wait till you see it. Are you giving this one away? No, this is a build for a customer. If you order a, a system from us, you can request to have it built on the stream and we will do it. We'll guide you through the steps of how to build a PC, troubleshooting tips, and as we said previously, taking your questions and all things gaming and tech and dino PC. Jesse says drum roll, please. Oh, please. Ta da! Polystyrene. Nicholas OC says, What is the occasion? Just a build for a customer, Nicholas. Just doing our jobs. You're starting to see a bit of the case now. This case is so awesome. Juxto says, I saw this case on Saturday. It's sexy AF. We want to know what AF means, and we agree with you, Jot. So. <laughs> Here we go. It's a standard spec of four. No pun intended. Nicholas says that's a big one. <laughs> Here we go. Lovely case. Lovely to build in. We, we like him a lot, yeah. It is awesome. An awesome case. Unlike most tempered glass PC cases, this you can actually move about and <laughs> put under your desk. Doesn't weigh a ton. Doesn't weigh a ton more of an actual functional PC as opposed to an art show piece. <laughs> Ryan Shaw says, can I buy these? Yes, you can at dinopc.com. You uh, should have a link in chat somewhere, shouldn't we? We do. We have a link in chat and on our YouTube main channel. It's the Primal G GS7. It's the Primal GS7 gaming PC. And if you like the look of it, we can build you one on stream if you want. Yep. Turtle says, quick question. I bought a PC from you a year ago. Okay, I'm waiting for the question. <laughs> yes. That's mm. the answer. It's a case of having to translate after the first part makes sense in the restaurant. Something about warranty. Well, you should have your standard warranty with it. You do not have to pay extra for warranty. There we go. Another great tip for if you're building your computer, before you start throwing stuff in your case, prep the case completely. Get all the cables in the back where you want them, get all your hard drives where you want them. Just get it all nice and tidy before you start throwing motherboards and power supplies in.
Phantom Pat says, I'm not sure if this is sarcastic or he's actually being genuine because I comment on Jared's cable management a lot. He says, welcome to the amazing cable management stream. I, I hope that's not sarcastic and if it isn't, thank you very much. We uh, do pride ourselves here at Dino PC on our cable management. If you guys saw the last stream, minus the few audio issues we had thanks to OBS, <laughs> yeah thanks to OBS, Jared's cable management was excellent. It was amazing. It was like watching spaghetti cook itself. <laughs> Ryan Shaw says, how much is it built? This one, it's around the £700 mark. You can check exactly on our, our website, the GS7. Yep. It is 664. 664, it's cheaper than I thought. We've done a, a couple of really high-end ones on the stream so far, 1080Ti's and whatnot, but we thought we'd do one that's more realistic for you guys. Yeah. Jared, a quick note to that. Phantom Pat says he meant it. He likes a cable. Hey, mantle. thank you, Phantom. Yeah, but as Jared was just saying, yeah, this build is, you know, more realistic, more down-to-earth, so to speak. It's got a GTS 1050Ti and a Core i5 processor. This is what most people game on, as opposed mm -hmm. to two GTX 1080s and a case made out of kryptonite. The sort of build that most people order from us, so uh, we thought we'd show you how they go as well. Exactly. The only new addition to this would be the case itself, which Corsair has revised with the tempered glass styling. It's not a case if it doesn't have tempered glass on it nowadays. Nope. It's not a computer if it doesn't have RGB. <laughs> One day we're all going to die of like an epileptic fit because of the amount of RGB in our systems. Just too many flashing lights. using such a high powered screwdriver? Well, we use them just because we'd uh, probably get our RSI if we'd used a hand uh, screwdriver to build all these. Normal one's absolutely fine, but we just use it to be quicker. Um, I wouldn't actually recommend this for a first time builder just in case you mess up and slip or something. I'd always go for a hand screwdriver, but much quicker. Right. Again, my usual tip, all these, get the ones you don't need out of the way as quick as you can. So pull out the ones you do need, like your 24 pin and your 8 pin CPU. Uh, don't need the PCI power in this case, it's only a 1050 Ti. You mean it doesn't require extra power? No. You mean it's energy efficient? <laughs> you mean yeah. Nvidia has low power graphics cards that are just as fast? I think it was, it's 70, 75 watt or something for the uh, 1050 Ti. Absolutely fine. Juxto says, my cable management is awful. People offer me money in order to fix it. I'm not one with the cable. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, God hopefully damn. you can pick up a few uh, few tips here then. I knew Juxto seemed familiar. We know you from Twitter. Yeah, Juxto hashtag I62. She streams Rust on Twitch. I knew her name was familiar. I've just bundled all the cables that we don't need together. Left the one SATA out for this hard drive here. And now we'll just hide these wherever we want. The most important part of building a PC, the cable tie. Oh yeah. Apart from the screwdriver and everything else, the cable tie. The components, the case, c c cable tie, most yeah. important. You know what really grinds my gears? Mm -hmm. Hit it over Peter Griffin that said. What grinds my gears? <laughs> What grinds your gears, Carl? First of all, dead batteries and cameras. Dead, Boys. yeah, absolutely grinds my gears as well. Uh, what grinds my gears is cases with no room for cable management. Yeah, yeah. I built, hate it. Built in a few of those. We try and, try and avoid them here. There's nothing like, you know, turning your PC 
opposite side down and jumping on top of it like it's a suitcase, <laughs> trying to get your cables to fit. There we go, you can pretty much see all the cables in here out the way, underneath all the hard drives, got only the two ones we need out. It's worth noting that unlike this power supply, which is still good in itself, some are modular, meaning they only come with the cables mm -hmm. that you need and you can attach them separately. Wouldn't even have any of these down here then. So you won't need to tie them back and hide them. Disgusting outside. Dopang says, hey, what up Dopang? Weird name, but I like it, Dopang. A penguin, literally a penguin, and that's the picture too, it says, why are all your PCs so beast? <laughs> They could be penguins. Juxto, you are right by the way. The feeling of mesh wire makes us cringe as well. <laughs> ah, that's it. The I've seen worse wires. These aren't too bad. The ketchup and mustard cables are horrible. <laughs> uh, they're horrible. Uh, I've seen some without the mesh on it at all and that's even worse. Yeah, that is true. The pre-built ones from... I don't want to say the name of the store. <laughs> insert brand here. <laughs> yeah, in, insert generic brand you see at the next... High street here. <laughs> yeah, don't look inside one of those. Yeah. You can find those type of PCs at something weld. Yeah. Pre booked. Right, how long are we gonna pop now? We've been quite cheap with that top camera. This is the point where I would never advise one of these unless you're quite experienced. Slip on a motherboard and cause all sorts of problems. It's worth pointing out that Jared doesn't have any anti-static wristbands on. Care to tell us why? Face the court. Right. We don't need them here because pretty much we're surrounded by everything that's anti-static. Anti-static flooring, anti-static tablecloths. So there's no chance for static to build up building in your house or especially if you're building on carpet I'd never advise that but if you are wear an anti-static race brand it's, uh, it's not worth the damage to your components for something so cheap we just want to give a shout out to a few people on Twitter the bruiser who won our dino PC gaming mouse mat yesterday I believe he streams on twitch or mixer one out of the two I think it's both a shout out to Noza Box, brilliant streamer. He's played Monster Hunter online and he's just hit a massively high subscriber count and he's celebrating on Twitter. We would give you a retweet, but this seems more personal. <laughs> well done. That is a phone. <laughs> Interrupting our stream with your phone calls. That's the busy nature of Dino PC. Precise knows a bots hit 12,000. Oh, well done! Well done, Some nice amount of subscribers. There's a lot of gifs and memes going to him, like the classic dancing Colton, yeah, and four Ragnarok for some reason, <laughs> and a dancing fat baby, hey. and minions. Hey. He's getting loads of celebrations. Sub Tempest, I remember you. How you doing? What are the specs on a PC you were building? It's a i5-7400. <laughs> Bless you. Bless a you. GTX 1050Ti, 8 gig of RAM, uh, Cooler Master Hyper 103 cooler, terabyte hard drive, 500 watt uh, power supply, Corsair carbide spec of 4 tempered glass, and I think that's just what everything was in there. And a Wi-Fi card. And a Wi-Fi card. Believe it or not, not everybody runs hardwired Ethernet. It's, it's, it's uh, ideal too, but it's not always uh, possible.
just want to give another shout out to one of our Twitter bots who has retweeted this competition nearly 10 times <laughs> but had the decency to add different emojis and text each time but I still believe it's a bot given the username <laughs> shout out to you you can join a block party uh, it's a clever bot yeah clever well, bot well no it's not actually clever bot that's the thing and that's another one to hit the block party see ya As I said previously, I will be giving away a Dino PC gaming mouse mat on stream to whoever tweets the secret hashtag that I'm going to say. But what does that mean? You'll see. Keep listening up. Keep listening up. It's worth pointing out that Ben aka Dave has now changed both his names to Ben. <laughs> Thanks. Ben aka Ben. time says I built my own PC with Ryzen 5 but I accidentally broke it so I had to go to Ryzen 3 oh dear how did you break your Ryzen 5 did you put a hammer to it or your PC fell down the stairs very interesting some something to do with the pins being bent on the CPU Possibly. it's unfortunate but yeah. that's, uh, that's one of the risks there, there is a few risks when you build a computer and that is one of them don't worry. Breaking a component. Don't worry though. RGB thermal paste will solve all these problems <laughs> in the near future. Yeah, and break your CPU again. Yeah. A great thing about RGB thermal paste, so I've been told from the future, is that when your PC's overheating, it just stays red. It glows red. It stops changing from green, yellow, blue, and purple. It just goes red. Goes through the entire spectrum. The dirt cat says, Hi, what up? Phantom Pat, is the mouse my international or UK only? I am sorry Phantom Pat, it is UK only. I will show you it right here. Oh, that's go back. There we go. Shiny logo, big T-Rex claw. This is a massive mouse mat. Well, it's not massive, but it's a good size. Size does matter. It's good enough. It's good enough. Sub Tempest says, oh this is going to be funny, what are your opinions on the Xbox One X? Oh, I, I've got to be honest, I've just kind of stopped paying attention to all these console releases. Burn. <laughs> Rip. It's just, it's, it's not even relevant really. Well, are you saying PC Master Race rules all? Oh yeah, PC Master Race makes every other form of gaming irrelevant. Damn, you that heard it here a, first. You heard it here there. first. You can quote me. He said, quote him, quote him people, <laughs> quote him through spread, Twitter. Spread the word. Hashtag, no, we can't use that, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Console's irrelevant. Yeah. Jared thinks they're relevant. Um, Xbox One X, I think it's a very good price for a console, considering the specs of it, and they say it's got an RX 580 in it, which is good, it's all AMD stuff. Uh, I think it's kind of irrelevant too, though. <laughs> It's kind of irrelevant, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a great piece of kit, but there you go. I, I think the PS4 is better. It actually has games for starters, but <laughs> you know, kind of the defining factor of why you buy one. But yeah, it's a good piece of kit. Not bad for the price. I did have some good times on the old uh, Xbox 360, but yeah, it's about 360 rocks. Yeah, it, that it, it was a fun. Yeah, it was, it was good fun. That's when that kind of made PC gaming irrelevant. PC Master is confession, it did. Uh, yeah, could give you a point there. Like PC gaming, there was still a lot of issues with it at the time, and it wasn't very, wasn't exactly smooth sailing. 
That was when Windows Vista was relevant, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> it was about that time, yeah. Don't you think there's a coincidence there? Microsoft releases broken OS software, <laughs> but releases flash a new game console oh at the same God. time, which is better than said PC. Conspiracy. Conspiracy right theory there. going on. Oh no. Windows Vista has stopped responding. Xbox gets a new update. What's going on? Something's fishy there. Uh, something's very fishy. Yeah, Xbox One X, um, I think it's a good piece of kit, but it's pointless because PS4 is better, and as Driver said, PC Master Race makes everything irrelevant. <laughs> well, that beats the uh, Nintendo Switch questions from last week. Oh yeah. That went on forever. Like one guy was trying to justify playing Mario. It was not happening. No. <coughs> Juxto says Savage. Hashtag rip Microsoft. <laughs> I agree with that hashtag. That is not the one I'm using for the competition, but I agree with you nonetheless. <laughs> Get everyone tweeting that. Yeah. Mouse Matt. Please oh, no. do not tweet yeah, that. Please don't. <laughs> oh no. Joshua Twaits. I think that's your name, Twaits. Yeah. Joshua Twaits. He just went full savage. He said. RIP graphics card prices thanks to Bitcoin mining. Oh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, they're, they're, you've got a point there. Yeah. That's, that's the downside. That, that would be the only saving grace of the Xbox One X. It's just the price on that has kind of hurt PC gaming alongside <laughs> Bitcoin mining and graphics cards. Damn, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. You that's the back. easiest way to get an AMD graphics card buying Xbox <laughs> One X. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. cheaper than 1070. Phantom Pat said, what motherboard is that? I forgot to ask. It's uh, Asus H110M-R. There you go. RGB firmware paste is the way forward. Blue for cold, red for hot. All the colours of the rainbow if it's normal. There we go. I, I agree with you, Juxta. I really agree with you. Question is, will we be able to see the firmware paste glowing? And if we can see it, is that a cause for concern? Because <laughs> your firmware paste is running. Yeah. We will never know. You don't have a CPU cooler on. Definitely be right exactly. There. Why is your PC over here? Never mind, we can see why. <laughs> My thermal paste is telling me why. Bryce Saban says, is Cyber PC a good brand? Cyber PC? Oh. We're not one to comment oh. on our competitors. Oh. We respect them nonetheless. Oh. But we can't comment on them. <laughs> Dino PC is a good brand. Yeah, we know that. We know we'll that. Dino PC is a very good brand. That's all I'm saying. Steve Boldner, you are very funny. Ha 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 ha. Mega Tech guy says cryptocurrency is fool's monopoly money. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm a bit uh as well. I'm probably not smart enough to comment on the entirety yeah. of uh, the only thing about Bitcoin mining. I see why people like it. I personally don't really care. <laughs> as a PC gamer, it bothers me. Yeah. I guess, but if you're gonna mine, go buy an ASIC. Don't buy a 1070 or something. It's not worth it. Yeah. Stop stealing our hardware. Everything has a rebound effect. It will rubber band eventually. Everything does. I find it kind of ironic how outside of building a gaming PC, the two main topics are bit, bit, uh, Bitcoin mining and consoles. Yeah, there's yeah. more questions about that than about computers. Yeah. I mean, ne next time, do you want us to take apart an Xbox on stream? <laughs> I mean, I used to mod consoles. I'll pull one apart and we'll mod it. We'll put a wall cooling block in it, everything. Maybe we'll do that next time. Wow. But for today, we kind of like our gaming PCs. We also like the sight of graphics cards, while we can still get them. Vega 64 is now 899 pounds, <laughs> with five exclamation marks to join it. <laughs> Ten eighty Ti is nearly going for a thousand pounds. It's just ridiculous. 
it is crazy. But even then, it doesn't it doesn't stop people from buying them. That, that's the thing. No, the market. Like, the thing is, if you're invested on a high end of PC gaming, right, where you're used to buying Titans, 1070Ti's, 980's, 1080Ti's, so and so. Is the price of Bitcoin really going to affect your spending when it comes to PC gaming? <laughs> yeah, you, if you're one of those that always buy the top end, you're going to buy the top yeah, end. Yeah, you're, you're going to buy the top end anyway. No matter what the price is. Don't let Nvidia know we said that. Exactly, please do not. The thing with high-end PCs is that you're a glutton for punishment in that you know you're wasting your money, but it's worth it and it's awesome at the same time. To the final stages of this build now. That was a quick one, wasn't it? That didn't take this long. This one was very, very quick. I don't know, we could uh, always fit another quick one in if you guys want another build. Let us know if you guys want another build because this is almost finished. Condit wins every time, says Dino PC cable management is like fine art. Now that's a compliment. That's a that. compliment. I was going to be sarcastic there and say, oh, yeah. you know, fine art usually takes forever, and Jared was very quick in his build. I was going to have some witty but comment. But I was going to say it's like kids playing with crayons, but there you go. Genuinely fine art. Smile there. Thank you very much for that comment. Jared appreciates that very much. I, f I think it's worth giving appreciation to this graphics card because of the Bitcoin mining making them irrelevant. <laughs> Let's hold this one up for the camera real quick. It's a rear sight, a graphics yeah. card. Look at that. Asus, Asus. Thank you. Jet still plays. So same build as mine, except I have a two terabyte hard drive and an i5-7500 instead. Yeah, it's a little bit of an upgrade, that's nice. On the other end of the scale, Jutsto says my PC is five years old and I'm, and I'm not ashamed. You know what, whatever works for you. I know a lot of people who are still running Core i5 2500Ks and that is years old. Oh yeah, I, I've years. got a six or seven year old processor now. It's getting a little, uh, showing its age, but still I mean, plays the games. I mean, that's the thing with PC gaming. It's like, if your system is a year old and there's new stuff out, you're automatically mm. extinct anyway in the eyes yeah. of PC gamers, so. Try playing a brand new game on a seven year old console. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> Condit wins every time says yes more builds please okay we'll do another one since you asked sub tempest says what keyboard do you guys recommend razor chroma v2 or corsair k570 is a chroma v2 mechanical that's a good question or is it their um what would they call it their uh sort of a hybrid thing razor isn't they Yeah, Razer Mechanical Switches. Oh, so it's not Cherry MX Switches, it's Razer Mechanical Switches. That is true. Ooh, I don't know, I can't, I've never used a Razer Mechanical Switch. Um, my, I've got a Corsair K95 myself, and I can you know, attest to that being a really nice keyboard, but I've never used a Razer one, so I can't <laughs> really give you a fair comment there, I'm afraid. I mean, Razer does say that the Razer Switches for that particular keyboard come in green, orange, and yellow. Tactile and clicky, tactile silent, linear and silent. Okay, so sort of like blue, red, and more or uh, less, yeah, more or less. But I mean, brown, I think. I can say to that the Corsair K70 is awesome. A lot of the keyboards are genuinely awesome. They just announced a waterproof keyboard as well. <laughs> like, it was a K, a new K model, a new barcode model, much like most PC products. But it's yeah spill resistant as they say yeah. so you can drink lemonade while you're gaming All the and embrace the stereotype of Mountain Dew and Doritos <laughs> there you go I mean I have a lot of Razer products but I also have quite a few Corsair products exactly as I'll say go for what suits you and as with most PC hardware whether it's graphics cards or just keyboards check out reviews and if you can get hands on experience with it because mm. no pun intended a keyboard hands on experience matters <laughs> find a switch that's right for you but off the bat I would say go for Corsair dress to be safe but then again who don't love Razor awesome Noah Play says hi what up I think Juxto has the Razor keyboard 
She says you can change the keys to how loud and clicky you want them. Oh, that's quite a nice feature. Condit wins every time says, damn, I had a Core i5-2500K a few guys about seven to eight years ago, and it's still a great processor. I, I doubt there's any games out at the moment you can't play on it. Yeah. It's not like the dual cores where the game says, no, I'm not loading. <laughs> I work, but I'm no, not loading. Not good enough. Yeah. Cripstick says, Razer greens are amazing. I prefer them to Emmett's blues, but they are very similar. Okay, okay. There you go. I'm Razer's own version of Cherry. So, can't go wrong. I'm an NX brown man myself. I like blue. I like blue, loud switches. Blue, I like to piss people off. <laughs> I prefer blue switches to, to use, but it's just, I, I can't annoy everyone that much with my keyboard. One time I deliberately, like, tried to see how loud I could hit these things. So it was <laughs> at night, I was in my flat, by myself, and a neighbour knocked my door and it was like, what is that loud noise? <laughs> and I was like, it's the keyboard. It's not mysterious. They Pretty heard it nice. through the walls and I was proud, I was very proud. Yeah, that's why I've got browns. Jet still plays. We are not currently running one right now. That was a question about an apprenticeship. We had the same question, I believe it was on our last stream, but currently not right now. Phantom Pat says, wait, I, what's that say? Dude, are you from America? Or UK, by the way, yeah. Phantom Pat says, I'm in computer science class watching you guys. <laughs> computer science class sounds like something Americans say. In England, like they, the kids just say, I'm in IT. <laughs> yeah. That could be like a uni course or something. Oh, really oh uni course, yeah. yeah. Computer science class. Well, I don't think this quite counts as computer science, but it's, it's along the right sort of uh, tracks, isn't it? Same thing, same thing. I'm sure you could get away with it if you like to record you. Mega Tech Guy says, Ryzen Plus is coming out in two months time. Slightly higher clocks and uses 10% less power. Are you from the future? <laughs> How do you know that? I mean, we've seen roadmaps and leaks and announcements and such, but... Inside the knowledge, inside I Inside like the knowledge. I think it's best to wait until these things come out. I mean, AMD in the last year, a few years, hasn't let us down yet. They've been excellent, so to speak, especially with Ryzen. But yeah, I would wait. Wait for reviews. Yeah, I'd never buy anything on launch. Never, never. Wait for someone else to make that mistake first. Yeah. Phantom Pat says, low. Yeah, basically the same. I take these from America. Hey, Phantom Pat. Noah Play says, do you have a favourite game? Oh. Jared. Um, console or PC? I mean, I know PCs are relevant. I mean, consoles are relevant compared to PC, but take PC? your pick. Are we are we talking like now or all time? Because they're very different questions. Okay, Noah plays hasn't specified, but I'm gonna say all time. All time. And and what are you currently playing right now, if anything? Uh, uh right now, not much to be honest. You know, it's, it's quite hard. I haven't got much time at the moment, but uh, when I can, maybe a bit of CS:GO. CS:GO. Um, dabble a bit in World of <coughs> Tanks. World of Tanks. Yeah. Um. I've got... Shout HTC. out to World of Tanks, I know the devs. Brilliant yeah. game. Hey, we know devs, so that's cool. Sorry, um, carry on. I've got a HTC Vive set up at the moment in my flat, so... Playing mm. quite a lot of like super hot VR and... He's in a Matrix, guys. The new uh, the Rick and Morty VR, that's a really cool game. Noah Plays says, favourite game of all time. There we go, there's the question. Um, I think it's it's one of two for me. For, for the game, it's, I think it's Just Cause 2 or Just Cause 3. I absolutely love those games. For the memories, it's, it's got to be Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. San Andreas, you heard it. You know, I always thought Vice City was much better than San Andreas. Really? It was basically Scarface the game. And I know <laughs> Scarface had a game that was crap, but Vice City was the game. <laughs> Scar and it had the best music ever in a video game. Oh, they all had good music. The first thing you hear is Michael Jackson. Awesome. I, I've listened to at least the San Andreas soundtrack over and over. That is, yeah, that is, that is. Vice City is better, sorry, it's better. Now, there you go. He's currently playing CSGO and he loves San Andreas. My favorite game would have to be, um, 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 Eva, the very first Tomb Raider on PlayStation, Pokemon Crystal, or God of War 3. I can't decide between any of them. There you have it, one of those. I understand in PC Master Race Land that's hypocrisy, <laughs> because all those are PlayStation and Nintendo games, but there you have it. It's not a PC exclusive, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, if it's a PC game, it has to be Crisis 3. No, Crisis 2. I love Crisis 2 on PC. Never played Crisis 2. I thought the original Crisis was overrated and people loved it because it didn't work. <laughs> like, that's the reality of it. By the way, Joe is doing the... Doing the thing. Peel. The thing. Yeah, everyone loves the thing. <laughs> everyone loves the thing where you just peel back on the plastic seal of PC products. This doesn't have a name yet, but we're just going to call it the Dino Peel. Yeah, son. There you go. Oh, staticky now. Mm. Yeah, that's the difference between tempered glass cases and regular cases. Rather than just sliding on, they have four screws that sit on rubber brackets, yeah. so to speak. Nearly all of the tempered glass cases I've used have got the same sort of mechanism of just on and then four screws. Four screws. There we go, guys. Rubber. You can see how shiny it is. You can see our very shiny, very see our camera. See our setup there. <laughs> Here we go. Just about to see inside. You can see a lot easier in person inside. It's not actually this reflective. Yeah. It's actually got. It's not smoked, but there's a slight yeah, tint to it. It's a tint to it. It's a slight tint. Yeah. It's quite nice. It makes LEDs uh, look really nice. Right, so do you guys want another build? They said they do. They want another build. They want another build. Right. We are uh, probably be about five minutes or so getting it all set up for you, but it won't take long. Guys, we will be back in five minutes. Exactly five minutes from now. Mokaiji says hello. I bought a set from you guys last year. Well done. We really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Jet still plays to answer your question regarding warranty. Yes, you do. To reiterate in the chat, yes, you do. Jared gets that PC ready, and here he comes. Oh, get, get here we go. Here's the next part. Condit Win says every time. He has a weird username. It reminds <laughs> me of the old days of XO underscore underscore. Oh wow. Oh, it's, it's not as bad as that, but it's close enough. That brings me back to my Xbox Live days. Yeah. He says, why buy yourself from anywhere else? Down no PC all day. You are right about that. Down your PC all day. Right, we've got a really nice value budget system here. Great for sort of mid-range gaming. I'll destroy it as we go. Just got a CD drive. Got a 250 gig SSD. I realize you can see none of this. Let me aim the camera down a bit. That should be better. Ooh. There we go. All right, 250 gig SSD. Pentium G4400. Same ASUS H110M-R motherboard, 4GB of RAM, and a 500 watt power supply. And now I recheck the list. This one doesn't actually have a graphics card in it. so. You aren't going to be playing many games on this one. Probably some, uh, maybe on very low settings or uh, some older games would be fine. And there goes the camera battery. Give us a sec, guys.
There we go. Four gig of RAM. Is this a Facebook PC? <laughs> Uh, it might be. It's a very cheap PC. That, that's that's the most important thing. I think we're what we're on. We're on the the four hundred pound mark for this computer. So it's a great budget friendly computer. Let's read through the you guys' comments. Does having four gig of RAM affect your PC's gaming performance? That's a good question. Um, up till about two years ago, I would have said no. Nowadays, yes. You're probably going to want at least, well, you're probably going to want 8 gig of RAM in your gaming system, unless you're doing ridiculously high, I don't know, refresh rates or resolutions, 8 is fine. 16 is the absolute max you'd want for a gaming system right about now. Right back guys, this won't take too long to get unpackaged for you. What are the minimum specs? Oh, no, before that, Sazo Sazo says hi. Hi there. Uh, Mo Kaji says, what are you using to stream? We're using OBS. What else have we got here? Eight gigs notes would be better nowadays, I agree. Yeah. Uh, what are the minimum specs for a VR-ready PC? Another good question. Um, you can find exact specs on like HTC's and uh, Oculus's website, but I'd recommend Probably an i5 <coughs> with something like a 1066 gig, uh, with the the extra resolution refresh rate of uh, VR headsets. The three gig doesn't really do it nowadays. I, yeah. I'd go for the six. <coughs> it's worth pointing out that with Oculus Rift, the requirements are actually lower, and you can use the GTX 972. Yeah. GTX 970 spec will get you there. King Flame is funny. He said, bruh, to be honest, this is why I don't want to build a PC. It looks boring and hard to do. <laughs> Honestly, dude, if... What was he... How did I put it the other day? Mm. If you know how to insert a game cartridge into a Nintendo, you know how to put a graphics card in. Yeah. Like, it's that simple. The first time you do it, it's it can be complicated, if not nerve-wracking. But after that, it's... Quite a breeze, and if you're into this stuff, DIY technology, you'll enjoy it. So there you go. Yeah, your uh, your first PC it, it isn't gonna look good, but it'll work. And then from there, you can just start making them prettier and prettier. To back up what we just said, Juxto says, "Boring and hard to do?" Question mark. Those words don't go well with PC building. <laughs> Mokaji says, "Making PCs is fun." There we go. There you heard it. Here's a guy that gets it. Sazo wants to know, is the GTX 710 good or bad for Fortnite Battle Royale? A 710? Ooh, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, uh, the GeForce GT 710? Yeah. Oh, 
GCS, I was thinking, what? Okay. I, yeah. I, I would not recommend it. I have tested, I think back in the day, probably two years ago, I tested a few games on a 710 and none of them ran particularly well. I think Daisy was getting about six frames a second, so I wouldn't recommend it. I'd there go for something a little go. higher end. Slideshow. If you can find a, maybe a, if you if you're on a budget, maybe a, a used uh, 750 or 750 Ti might be better. There you go. So I've just gone my favorite graphics card, 750 Ti. Ah, oh, they were good, weren't they? Brilliant cards. For modern graphics cards, as a minimum, I would say don't go with anything less than a uh, GTX 1050. Yeah. Or RX 550. Yeah. No, 560 actually. 560, much better. Start with one of those two cards. If, if you're on a big budget now, or oh, a small budget, I should say, and you know you're, you're, you're willing to upgrade in the future, maybe something like a 1030 will get you by. Yeah. But for like long-term gaming, I wouldn't go below a 1050 or 1050 Ti. Exactly. Yeah. Specs for this build are a Pentium G4400, Intel stock cooler, 4 gig of RAM, and a 250 gig SSD, 500 watt power supply. Case? Case is a, I think it's a CIT Dragon. I'll have to double check with that now. Yeah, CIT Dragon, white case, quite a nice looker. It's one we sell quite a lot of. I'll, uh, I'll give you a, show you it in about two minutes. It's worth pointing out that the case that Jared is going to show you is great for budget builds. Mm. Very good. The price has got a whole lot of features in it. No dedicated graphics card? Not in this build, no. Nice, nice quick one. This is not for gamers. This is for casual use, internet browsing, memes, Twitter stalking, retweeting competitions. Oh. Let's get that case for you guys. Kaji says the camera in the bottom looks like it's falling down. Um, no, it's not falling down. It's just not needed right now. Not needed. Usually, Jared takes up the entire desk and we use that camera for zooming in on a motherboard. But as you can see, this build is very, very tiny. Sazo says, I have a Core i5 and a GTX, I think you mean GT, not GTS, a GT710 and 8 gigs of RAM. It costs me £300, I'm indeed on a budget. For £300, you can't really complain with that, to be honest with you. Yeah. I mean, I would have went with an entry Ryzen or a dual core and allocated my budget for a better graphics card, hopefully. But no, It's, it's a lot easier to upgrade a graphics card in the future, though, isn't it? That is true. That is processor true. and motherboard. Wednesday wisdom. Where you go? Especially with the price of graphics cards at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> King Flame has been triggered. He said, "Why is live spelled like that in a title of the video? It triggers me." Again, in the title. Yeah, I've done that just for you. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for someone to notice that. It's like when people make they make the mistake of there, they are, and there. Oh yeah. Yeah. I see that all the time. Knowledge at our fingertips and we still can't spell. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, as I said before, we are giving away the Dino PC Gaming Mouse. Now, all you to do is hashtag the secret word of this stream. I still haven't mentioned it yet, or have I? Right, Jared, yeah. is that the Sit Dragon 3? It is the Dragon. This is quite a common one for people to order from our site. It's uh, plenty of storage in here. You've got two three and a halfs. I think it's three two and a halfs and two five and a quarters you can fit in here. So for the <coughs> size, it uh, can fit a lot in here. Plenty of cable management routes at the back. What's not to like? A 
Okay, if you want to win the Dino PC Gaming Mouse map, right now, if you tweet at us, and you should be following us on Twitter, if not, how did you know we were live at Dino PC UK? Just tweet at us. Hmm. Hmm. What am I thinking now? Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to trigger anyone. Someone suggested we take shots at Xbox before, but that was a bit mean. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to get That was a bit mean. Any controversy here? Hashtag Dino PC Gaming. Tweet that at us. Hashtag Dino PC Gaming. Dino PC Gaming. Let's see how long it takes. Yeah. I'm an impatient person, so I'll probably just like decide on the first couple of people between <laughs> them. Oh, that's going to get people yeah. going quick. Rather than people who do it later on. Competition bots, if you're listening, you do not count. You will join <laughs> a block party like the rest. It was a good giveaway. I mean, for 10 days, yeah, it was about 10 or 8 days, we gave a mouse mat away every day. Every day. Yeah. I mean, it was kind of cool. It's a lot of mouse mats. And everyone tweeted their pictures in. I appreciate that. Everyone we really appreciate that. Add to the competition bot controversy, the bot gate, as I'm calling it, <laughs> Synaptic, hashtag i 62 on Twitter says, if someone does this, redraw. Just spam a count or a bot. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there's enough of them out there. Yeah, too many. We'll make sure to weed them out. Right. Just like all the other cases, doing case prep before we put anything in there. Case prep is good. Stops are getting too uh, unruly whilst you start throwing things in. Again, tweet at us, hashtag DinoPCGaming. DinoPCGaming. And you will win the mouse mat. I don't have OCD, so it won't take me forever to pick the winner between how many of you do it. I will probably pick between the first three who do it. Oh. So tweet at us, hashtag DinoPCGaming. Definitely a race to it then. Sazo says, I found you from the Morgan Hudson video you did, a giveaway of him and bought him a PC. Good to know, good to know. Good to know. I think also known as Morgs. Yeah, so let's give a big shout out to Morgs, aka Morgan Hudson. Yes. Very, very interesting fella. Brilliant nonetheless. Check out his channel and his Twitter. He's always doing something fun and kind of wacky, I guess. <laughs> Check him out. King Flame says, already did it, referring to the hashtag. Yeah, but you got triggered. You got triggered by a spelling. <laughs> Elliot Thomas says, came here from unit, lost my man. I, I, you came here from where? The unit. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but... That sounds creepy and a bit scary. I came here from the unit. <laughs> not a psychiatric unit, I'm hoping not. <laughs> Us playing on. Yeah. Came in from unit, lost my man. Um, came here from unit lost. Okay. Ah, unit okay. lost is. is okay, there we go. Deciphered it. Yeah. Unit lost must be some Twitter account or a music video somewhere. Either way, we appreciate it. See, this, this is what I mean, okay? This is, this is exactly what I mean with the competition bots, right? I say, tweet at us, hashtag DinoPCGaming. Literally, a, a, a bot account tweets at us. <laughs> and how do I know it's a bot account? Because in the bio, it says, 
I don't use Twitter that much. I just use it for giveaways. Like, come on. As you can see from my profile picture, you won't expect much. How can you be that honest? <laughs> you're not, I'm sorry, you're not winning. No, no, no. Unless you're in the chat right now, you're not winning. No, it's not happening. The dedicated people are in the chat, I've realized that. There's a link between me saying bot and competition and the amount of people are taking notice <laughs> and the amount of bots that are rising up. We're doomed. We're doomed. S Strikey T says, How many GTX 1070s do you have in stock? Ooh. Only the ones we saved from the Bitcoin Master Race. <laughs> yeah. Got it on a plaque. Not allowed yeah. to sell it, so it's a special 1070. Gonna go grab a hard drive real quick. Jared has gone to get a hard drive. Jared has retrieved the hard drive. Jared has arrived back on stream to join me. He has the hard drive. Ta da! Ah. Go. Seagate Barracuda, one terabyte. Standard and reliable. He says dedication goes a long way. You are right. Indeed it does. She says, I bought a PC from you and I still love it. Hey. It's my baby. Always good to hear. Do you know which PC it was or was it a uh, custom configurator? Yeah, please let us know what PC you bought or if it was part of the custom configurator and you tailored it yourself. And how long ago? Yeah, how long ago? No, you said last year. Last year? Last year. You forget that it's 2018 already. Oh yeah. You really do. Still 2017 in my book. Exactly. Right. Same as before, all the cables you don't need, get them out of the way. So in this case we need our 24 pin, our 8 pin CPU, two SATAs and one Molex for these fans. Just to reiterate as well, because King Flame is art skin. Yes, hashtag Dano PC Gaming. You're all right, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, Mike Mokaiji says, custom config. Ooh, spec it himself. Nice one.
This, ladies and gents, is known as cable management and ketchup and mustard cables. <laughs> That's really the majority of our jobs here is cable management. Get everything pretty and neat. The thing with cable management, right, is when you have nice braided cables, like that are properly sleeved, individually mm. wrapped, they look awesome and you want to cable manage them. You want them to look <laughs> flat against the back panel, look awesome. Only exposed when they need to. When you got ketchup and mustard cables, it's, it's a case of what do I do with these? Where can I hide these? I can't cut them off because health and safety, but where do I hide them? <laughs> Making the best out of a bad situation, yeah. Make them look as pretty as possible. You guys can see there's three case fans in this dragon case. Two at the top, one at the front, and in the white ones they're blue, blue LED fans, in the black ones they're red LED fans. And we brought the power to them through the back here to the front, and this front one's come up the side, the front here. So we've got all the Molex connectors in the same place, which we join all together. We hide them out of the way under here. No doubt some of you will have noticed there's a optical disk drive in there. Yes. Yeah, we still people still need them. For some reason. Yeah. We uh one day they'll go the way of blockbuster. <laughs> it's happened for most. We can only hope. If you ask anyone that builds computers, they hate CD drives. I hate them. I hate them. I hate seeing cases that still have the slot for it. <laughs> with the little door, the little panel that opens up. It's like that's not cute anymore. It was great when Alienware did it 10, 15 years ago. Now it looks horrible. This oh panel. no, there it is, that, that panel. <laughs> That's the panel, the door. Please, God, no, no, no. Yeah. Take it away. At least it hides the CD drive. It's the only good point. Yeah, that's... Like, one day it's gonna be like the ET and Atari all over again. It's gonna be like a landmine full of old optical disk drives. And people are gonna wonder what happened to them. Was it conspiracy theory? Where they will go? Bury them in the desert. Just bury them in the desert, everyone on the planet. They don't look nice. They're loud and bulky. Then again, this, this PC isn't for gaming, it's worth pointing out. There's no dedicated graphics card in here, unlike the previous one. This is being used for casual home and office use. So whoever requested this optical drive probably has a lot of media to back up. Yeah, that's Photos, a good point there, yeah. Music. You used to play DVDs or DVDs. any sort, yeah. Then again, it's worth pointing out, people who play CDs in their car probably still burn CDs, so there is a use there for you them. Go. There yeah. is a use for them, I will say that. Mo Kaiji says I didn't even bother with, with the CD drive. They they go. Yeah. Yeah. I recommend that for anyone yeah. getting a computer. Don't even bother with them. Yeah. Unless you really, really need them. We hate them here as builders as we've got to run a whole another cable up to the top to power this and a SATA back down, so there goes at least some of your cable management. There's there's no even justification for it. Like, I've got braided cables, it's gonna look nice. It's like, yeah, but it's still running to an optical disk drive. <laughs> the loud, horrible, reminds me of an old Xbox. So I, I, I hate them. Yeah, burn them all. See, Juxto backs us up again. Mine has a CD drive, and in the five years I've had it, I've never used it. You're wondering why it came with it. Am I right? You're wondering. Like, who cursed you like this? Mo Kaiji says, I have a Corsair Graphite 760T case. I love that case. Awesome. I remember when I first saw that case. It was uh, Tom Logan. Yeah, oh, he showed yeah. it to me. Thank he showed me that case. I was like, dude, this is awesome. I love this case. He also has a Asus Maximus Hero board. Ooh. I owned a Hero board. I owned like six, seven years ago. It was one of the very first ones. Got the, uh, the crosshair. Formula Z in my build. Always a fan of Republic of Gamers. Asus always give their stuff cool names. <laughs> Maximus Hero. It's like a Gladiator yeah. or something. It's not just a generic code, board. no. It's, it's not got a some barcode. cool name to it. It's memorable. Exactly. Uh, along with that, 32 gigs of RAM. I have, I do not have 32 gigs of RAM on my system. I, I have like 8 on one, 8 on the other, and 16 on one. 
I once had a weird configuration of 12 gigs, and it's like, <laughs> this is more than eight, but it's not 16. It's like, I'm trying hard, but not hard enough. Good mid-ground. Yeah, so, so I'll cut it out and just left it to eight. I've got 32 in mine, but I bought it back in the days where 32 gig of RAM would cost you 100 and something pounds. So, oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, taking it into, you know, comparison, that's probably cheaper than, than it is now. Oh, yeah. It's ch cheaper to get 32 back then than it would be to get 16 now, definitely, yeah. for what I got. Adding to that, Mokaiji says, I have an Intel Core i7 and a GTX 1080. Wow, you have a powerful build. It sounds really powerful. Really nice build you got there. So if we were to give your build a name, it's the Graphite Hero 1080. Yep, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's your new name, name for bad. your computer, the Graphite Hero 1080. Oh, Mo Kaiji, you ruined it. I just got an external CD drive. That's still kind of terrible. Uh, it's, it's better, it's better. Much better than an internal one, I'll give you that. He says, I like it. It's still got some use in CDs. Uh, I, I would say it's useful, I'm not sure about like. I, uh, what was the last, uh, game you had on CD, not counting console. I can't. <laughs> I can't. That's my point. I can't. Like The last game I had on CD was on the PlayStation 1. Wow. When okay. I was however old, 10, 8, whatever. So, yeah. I think mine was... I didn't buy it, it was a Christmas present off uh, I don't know, a parent or something, so they assume all games come on uh, CDs. I think it was Call of Duty 4. There you go. For the PC, that is. Ah, see? At least you're still somewhat masterous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's like, no, last game I bought on CD. Oh, Mo Kaiji says, no, I don't like that. I meant I like your cable management. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Thank you. Thank you, Mo Kai. I don't retract my statement about CDs. <laughs> <laughs> that still stands. Yeah, that, that still stands. We, we do not like them, but yeah. Blended Kitten says, do any other motherboards come with different coloured I.O. panels? Even a matte rather than shiny would be nice. Yeah, some you of the higher end ones come with uh, black ones on the back. The, the black ones are really nice. Definitely some black and red ones. Some of the ASUS sort of like the Maximus and the, the Hero sort of boards definitely come with that. Basically the uh, premium motherboards. Yes. Mainly from ASUS. They have black and red in some of those. Very nice. Oh, uh, here. Most are either silver, just of the material that it's made of, or they're white and it's got a catchy design on it. But yeah, the black ones do look better. They blend in mo to most builders. I'm not sure why they only put them in the, the high-end motherboards. I don't think I've ever seen a sub, like, £150 motherboard. You know, that. here's an idea, all right? Mm -hmm. Motherboard makers, Asus, MSI, Gigabyte, whoever, all right? RGB IO panels, <laughs> there you have it, yeah? Oh, I still you have the desk. You have the chairs now, you have the power supplies and the graphics cards and everything else, RGB I.O. panels. You might be onto something there. You can justify our use of that people need to see things, <laughs> or when they can't reach around the back, the, the lights will help somehow. NZXT has a couple cases with like a little light up by here, so yeah. there's already a light there. Yeah. If there's a light, it can you be You know what would be great, right? RGB, right? You have a light here for the green, the blue, <laughs> and a pink one here. Now for the USB 3.0, which have the blue headers inside, oh, those can glow yeah. blue. And if you're still using PS2 keyboard and mice, <laughs> those as well. Light it all up. Yeah, RGB IO panels, that is the way forward. Get it here first, guys. Uh, make sure it's right. matte black by default and not silver. <laughs> Mokaiji, we are using OBS. It's OBS. That's what Mo 
most people use to stream in that. It's fairly standard. As you can see here, Jared is onto his cable management. As I call it, cook the spaghetti. Justo says OBS is the one. Yes, it is the one. If you don't like free stuff, especially when it works. Shout out to everyone so far who has retweeted hashtag Dino PC Gaming to win the Dino PC mouse mat. Hey, got a few people retweeting, have we? We have a few people retweeting it. Hashtag Dino PC Gaming. Retweet that and I'll decide at the end of the stream. You have until Jared finishes this build. Which isn't long, guys. Yep, only a few ketchup and mustard cables to go. <laughs> about time to ask for any last questions you guys want to get out start typing them now we haven't got too long left if you guys have any questions whether that be PC building tips gaming general stuff technology let us know Jared I see you corrected your name by the way I did. <laughs> <laughs> this whole time I've been spelling Jared's name wrong uh, on, on our YouTube ha handle. But yeah, he's corrected his name. He spells it weird. Anyone has spelled my name correctly first time. It's, it's, it, I spell it wrong. That's yeah. what I've done wrong. This yeah. isn't off topic, guys, but Jared spells his name like really weird. <laughs> really weird. You see in the description if you want. It's in the description. Mo Kaiji says, Do you guys recommend liquid cooling over fans? I reckon you should put the fans over the radiator before the liquid cooling. <laughs> now we're joking, we do understand the question. Uh, Jared, what do you think? Liquid cooling or air cooling? Or, in fact, closed loop liquid cooling? Okay, yeah, that's, that's an easier question. Um, actually, no, it's a pretty harder question. Yeah, it's a harder question. Um, there, there was a time, I think, when I got, I got a H100 in my rig that there was not, no air cooling system came close to H100 in terms of cooling. But now if you get some of the I don't know, knock two has got some of the big dual towers where you have like three fans, you know the sort of type. Those they perform pretty much as well as water cooling, two hundred and forty mil radiators. There's a lot less components that can fail in them. Um some people think they look nicer. I, I think a radiator looks nicer with the fans on it, but it's not as easy as it used to be just getting a water cooler was my first choice. But um I, I still have to go water cooler at the moment. Closed I, loop or exotic? Closed loop. I, I just don't have time for a, a custom loop. But uh, th there's still definite uses for air coolers. Some of the, the big beefy ones are really, really good. Yeah, I mean, I would only recommend full-on custom exotic water cooling cut tubes itself, insert blocks, if you have the time to manage it. <laughs> it's like a fish tank that requires your attention all the time. Um, so to speak. When you want to upgrade stuff, it can be a problem, especially if you have hardline tubing instead of soft tubing. I mean, closed loop coolers like the Corsair H100 and such, and the ones from NZXT, those are pretty good. Simply screw the block in, find a place to mount your radiator, you never have to refill the water. Those are cool. If you're going with air cooling, eh, and that's our phone, <laughs> air cooling is different. It's very different. It's a lot. Not many look nice, I'll say that. Mm. The only air coolers I'd recommend if you don't care about looks are the ones from Noctua. They're probably the best in terms of performance, but they look hideous and everyone knows that. <laughs> everyone knows uh, that. They've, uh, seen, they've got some new fans out of Noctua that aren't the usual sort of uh, beige and cream colours. Yeah, they do have uh, black and grey ones that look a bit more industrial-like. I mean, I would say if you're going to go for an air cooler, and this is just me personally, go for the Cooler Master V8 GTS. Apart from being named after a car, <laughs> it looks like a car engine. It looks cool. It looks like Megatron's head merged with a Ford Mustang. It is very cool. No pun intended. Cool. Very cool. It's an awesome looking CPU cooler. It's an air cooler and it looks great. I, I do give Cooler the Master... V8 GTS. Cooler Master, I give them props all around for their air coolers because 
even like their, their low end ones, like the, the Hyper 103, they're just really decent coolers for their price. Yeah, the low end coolers are even great. Like the low price stuff is still pretty good, so I'll give them that. I mean, yeah, whatever you prefer, maintenance. I think the most popular trend and will be for the next few years is still closed loop coolers. Yeah. They're easy to install, there's more options, I guess, in terms of price and performance. I mean, the performance is neg well, uh, negligible, as they say, between the top end ones, but it's all about style and brand loyalty, I guess. Mm. NZXT makes some awesome ones, Corsair, theirs are amazing. Yes, uh, so NZXT's got that one with the sort of like the, the mirror sort of thing with the, the ring LED that keeps, that, yeah, that looks that really looks nice. Really good. Yeah, I'll give them that, they did well there. They've even started doing braided tubes now. It's like braided <laughs> sleeves over the cables. I know there's quite a few companies that are doing that. But the NZXT, the Kraken stuff, Corsair's Hydra series, yeah, whatever works for you. And they last pretty long as well, so we're pointing it out. Yeah, you never have like, to refill them. It's not like custom tubing where you've got to refill it every couple years or so. Yeah, I mean, full on custom water cooling is like looking after a baby. Yeah, you don't want it. You like the look of it, you like spending time with it, but you don't want to maintain it. Just, <laughs> you wish it could maintain itself. Exactly, yeah. See, now this is why, as a system builder, I hate CD drives. See? Do you see this guys? Got Look this at that big ketchup and mustard cable. sort of deal with it by putting it back here but how, how much nicer is, is that than having this running up here straight to the middle of your computer? I'm not a fan at all to be honest with you. Redemption has... Redemption I remember you. You won that episode of Punisher. Redemption. No, I'm kidding. That is a cool name. You was on our last live stream. Oh, Bella Redemption. I remember the name yeah. Is the GTX 1050 Ti compatible with my motherboard? The gigabyte insert barcode here, which I'm not saying. Every graphics card redemption yeah. is compatible with your motherboard, as long as it has a PCIe slot. It will work. Yeah. If it came out in the last 12 to 15 years, then yes, it's yeah, compatible. It's going to work. Have no fear. No matter what brand. There's Any no brand uh, those warfare slots. over motherboards. Yeah. Anything will work. TF Deadpool 117 says, Wow, you guys are usernames. <laughs> this is worse than the MSN days, it really is. What would you recommend to first time gaming PC builders? Recommend in terms of uh, oh. components or a system? Yeah, that's or a bit of a broad tools? question. Narrow it down a bit, we could really help you. Tools well, wise, I'll just answer that. A screwdriver. S screwdriver, something to cut cable ties with. And, and cable, cable size. size, yeah. That's really all you need. In terms of it. hardware, if it's your first time build and you don't want to spend a lot, which I, you know, recommend you don't, in case <laughs> something goes wrong, shouldn't, go for anything on, well, set your own budget. If you're aiming for four to five hundred pounds, that's a good starting point. It will give you some legs, it will give you, you know, a good upgrade path. But yeah. in terms of actual components, I would recommend personally a GTX 1050 graphics card as a mm -hmm. starting point or AMD equivalent, say RS560 processor-wise, a Ryzen 3 series processor or an Intel Core i3. Yep, if you can get one. 8 gigs of RAM, uh, insert your chosen brand here, because they're pretty much as good as it's going to get for now with RAM, yeah. I'd say. Unless you move to the higher end stuff, which has RGB lighting and fancy plates on it. RAM's RAM, it's, it's yeah, going to work. RAM. It's going to work, it's going to play your games. It's, it's going to play your games, it's going to work. But 8 gigs of RAM as a good starting point, don't go to 4. I repeat, mm. for gaming, do not go to 4. Because some games actually refuse to boot up now, which is strange, considering the game may not even use it more than 4 gigs <laughs> of that anyway. But um, yeah, if you can stretch your budget for an aftermarket cooler, do so. It's worth pointing out that the AMD Ryzen processors have brilliant stock coolers and they look pretty awesome. And. Uh, a case that's easy to work in, I'll say that. 
Yeah. Get a cake because there's nothing worse than having big honky fat cables on the back of your PC that you don't know how to manage properly and you can't get the door back on because <laughs> then you're jumping on top of it like it's a suitcase. Yeah. But Whatever case you get, try and find a video of it on YouTube where someone's taking it apart or building yeah. it. Yeah. Just Always see what check it's like. reviews, benchmarks first and so forth. Make sure everything's compatible. As for power supply, make sure it's a good brand. Make sure it has an 80 plus rating. Yeah. That means it's been certified to actually work. <laughs> That's what you need to do. I'd never use a power supply that is an 80 plus rated. Yeah. If it doesn't say 80 plus on the power supply, do not buy it. No matter how good the deal sounds, it's, it's, it will blow up. It's not a component you want to cheap out on. Exactly. Jared, if you turn it back around. Right. 80 plus. 80 plus. Right there. As long as it says that, then it's okay. Pigeon Gamer says, is an optical drive really needed? It's not needed at all. <laughs> No, it's not needed at all, as we yeah. were discussing earlier. You do not want it. Gone over that in, in in depth, but no, it's not needed. No, unless you have old family photos and music that can't be found online or anywhere else that you need to put onto your computer, you do not need it. Death to the optical drive. to grab an extra SATA cable for the CD drive. Redemption says, I bought a Xeon E3 1235 V2 for £85. Four cores, eight threads, runs like a beast. And it has a terrible, terrible name. <laughs> Real catchy. Terrible, terrible name. Yeah, you can get some old sort of workstation grade Xeons so for quite good deals. Um, eh, I'd always check like single core performance and those sort of things. If, if it's fine, it's fine. But, yeah. Jared, how long till this build is finished? I'd say about 30 seconds. Oh, 30 seconds, yeah. <laughs> Who should we give the Dino PC Gaming Mouse Mat to? Who oh, we we're them? announcing a winner right now. I don't know. What's the most fair way to randomise this? Uh, I'd say, say we just pick one. Let's see who, we, who actually who done it. Random uh, scroll so. and pick. We have my favourite bot, Joker, insert numbers here. We have Spice Boy. Ooh. His name is Spice Boy, but his username is Sply Boy. Wow. Talk about variation in name. some brilliant questions today. Yeah, I hope we managed to answer any of the questions you guys had. No hard feelings to Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> or Microsoft as a whole. Yeah. We appreciate you. There was a rumour that Microsoft was going to be buying uh, PUBG, what? EA, and believe it or not, Valve. Valve. This rumour went out today. Uh, I, I, well, what would I do? I, I'd eat my shoe if that's true. Yeah. I... That is just not happening. I know Microsoft's uh, quite profitable and all, but come on. Yeah. Valve, EA, and... How could... Oh, yeah. Was. Pub, PUBG, EA, and Valve. You know, you know it'd be great if, instead of buying them, that they, uh, I don't know, made some games? <laughs> <laughs> made some games? That'd be great. Because uh, I like Xbox exclusives when they come out, when they work on PC. Hashtag Gears of, Gears of War 4. <laughs> but um, Sea of Thieves looks like Sea of Boring, and Crackdown 3 looks like uh, Delay Down 3. So, yeah, not interested. Um, buying Valve, I can't see that happening. Nothing to benefit Valve there, yeah. And Steam isn't going to work on Xbox. No. Oh. no. Good games for Windows Live all over again. <laughs> I was about to say, they <laughs> tried in the past. They tried, and, and it thing. didn't happen. They failed terribly. Yeah, please do not buy them. If they buy EA, at least tell us some games. <laughs> but, um, yeah. If they buy PUBG, it would be pointless because why? The game doesn't work on their current Xbox, so why bother? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, no, that's in. There we 
go. Right, guys. That is the completed this build. This build is complete. Oh. The old front and back. So that's a nice sort of home user, not gamer, standard build there. Good price. Dubstep King says, do you build mining rigs? No. <laughs> Not, not specifically tailored to mining, we do not. As, as you know, the audience who have witnessed, we do not approve of mining because they're stealing our graphics cards. Yeah. It's hard for a PC gamer out here. We deserve those graphics cards. That's Redemption says no GPU in there. No, this customer is using this PC for home and office use. They just want it to look really nice on the outside. King Flame, EA buying Valve question mark. No. Microsoft was rumoured to buy EA, PUBG and Valve. <laughs> we do not believe it. Lewis LYT says hi. Uh, hi, but it's going to be bye soon. Yeah, bad uh, timing, Lewis, I'm afraid. Yeah, bad timing. Hope we'll see you on the next stream, though. Hopefully we will see you on the next stream. Redemption says PUBG is a step up for the Minecraft owners. Lol. <laughs> He's right there. He's right there. Yeah. The, the, then again, uh, PUBG don't even work on anything properly. Trying to buy into the next craze. Um, it apparently still doesn't work on the Xbox either, so that's really? why they're buying a property of these commando, beyond me. <laughs> I'm going to guess this person has a white office. Probably. Yeah. I'd, I'd uh, say yeah. that. Juxta says that. Yeah, they probably have a white office and they like space looking things. Bit of a stormtrooper vibe to it this case, isn't it, in white? Didn't Cooler Master do that a while back? Uh oh. Oh. Well. <laughs> No, it does, it does, it is a cool case. You're gonna do the I'm classic gonna, peel I'm on the side? Do the peel, yeah. Everyone. That's what everyone watches the stream for, isn't it? We need to get like really close in audio yeah. of this at some point. You hear it? Damn. There we go. There's the peel that everyone loves for some strange, creepy reason. Ugh. And that is the build. What is this PC called? Does it have a name? Is it a custom quantum? Let's have a look. This is um, Evolve D30. Intel Home and Office PC. That's from our Evolve series of Home and Office PCs. There you have it. Mokaiji says, Don't not Minecraft. That game was addictive. Well, it still is to an extent. Jutsto says, The Peel. Uh, someone appreciates the peel. Everyone appreciates the peel. Yeah, hashtag Dino PC, The Peel. Yeah, <laughs> as in P E E L, not P I L L. We do not do gaming drugs here. Gaming no. PCs. Yeah. Still play Minecraft? Yeah. yeah, still play Minecraft. Still a very popular game. Alright, so where is the uh, Dino PC? Where's that? Yeah, where? King Flame says, FPS. It doesn't work on the Xbox One, trust me. I get a nice 10 FPS every time I play. <laughs> he is not wrong there. He is not wrong, but Mo Kaiji loves Minecraft. Juxto says, don't judge, I still play Minecraft. That is very true. Um, so, who should we give the Dino Gaming Mouse Map to, since everyone wants it so bad? Hmm. Who should we give it to? Yes. Quick question at the end here. What's the most expensive PC you've ever built? This is the last question we're taking. That is from Test Official before we give away this right. awesome Dino Mouseman. Look at it. Woo! Oh, wait, they can't even see us. Right. Do you build Bitcoin mining rigs? Okay. Dubstep King? We don't, I'm afraid. Yeah. I don't know, maybe something we'll look into in the future, but most expensive PC I've ever built was about between four and five thousand pounds. It had uh, SLI, I think it was 980 Ti classified editions, Extreme Edition i7, all the good stuff. Most piece, uh, expensive PC I ever built uh, was probably one of my own. You know, it had a Titan Black in it, so it was a few years back. Uh, i5 5570K, I don't know, something like two grand, yeah. Oh. yeah. That a Cooler Master hoodie I see. <laughs> uh oh, product placement. <laughs> Someone spied it. <laughs> Product play that, that is no, no. We are not sponsored by Cooler Master. We are not stream. sponsored by Cooler Master for this stream. Hence the Stormtrooper. Whoops. Sit Dragon free case. But no. Um. Yeah. Cooler Master. Great. Yeah. Ignore. Ignore this. Okay. Yeah. So um. Who's gonna win this? But wait. There's more. We have two. Okay. So we're gonna give one to um um. 
Dude, what is your name again? Uh, whoops, where is it? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Gone. Oh, you okay? This one is for Mo Kaiji. You get this one, yeah? And the other one goes to Jutsto, hashtag I62. You get this one. One comes in black, white, and green. The other comes in green, white, and black. There you have it. We'll send those out to you. DM us your stuff on Twitter. See ya. Good stream, guys. <laughs> Thank you.